Hey guys, it's Crochet Elaine 2121 coming at you with a video on my hair and how I'm dyeing it or bleaching it platinum blonde. Um, I am not a beautician. I do not work in a shop. I am not licensed. This is just how I do it. So just as a warning, if you are not familiar with bleaching your hair, dyeing your hair, doing any chemical services to your own hair, please, you know, go to a professional if you're not comfortable. Um, or read up. There's other videos. There's other articles online. So just make sure that you are well versed on what you're doing before you try to do this yourself because I don't want you to bleach your hair, it all fall out, and then you blame it on me. I'm just saying. So that is my warning and my disclaimer. This is just how I do it. It may not be how you do it or how your beautician does it, but I'm just showing you how I do it because this is my channel. That's what I do. I just show you guys what I do at home. You know what I'm saying? So, if you follow me, you will know that I shaved all my hair off bald about, I think it's been about a month, almost a month if it hasn't been a month, and um, dyed my hair, and I look a mess, I just got back from the gym, guys, so I need to do this now because we're going to a wedding tomorrow, so I just wanted to get this done. Um, so I went bald, then I dyed my hair, or bleached my hair blonde, and I'm finding that I need to redo it about every week, so I've been doing it every Friday. So today is Friday, and I don't know if you can see the black in there with this or not, but if you can see, my black is coming through. So I'm just going to touch it up. Now with my hair being so short, um, it's going to overlap um, the other bleached hair. There's just no getting around it. I can't part it and like get the black. Um, the dye I'm using is, bleach I'm using is safe for the scalp and so is the toner. I uh, use a sensitive scalp um, developer. And what else? Um, being that my hair is so short, I'm planning on leaving it about this length or a little bit longer for the summer. So, you know, if it over processes, it's going to get shaved, you know, in about a week anyways, back down to this level. So, again, bleach can be very damaging to your hair. It is going to overlap because my hair is so short. So, I really, you know, people don't say, oh my god, you're overlapping your hair. I, there's no other way to do it. So, yes, I am overlapping my hair and I am totally okay with that. If your hair is longer, then you don't want to overlap the bleach. You want to make sure that you just do your roots. You usually want to have like an inch of root to do so that you don't overlap the bleach with your already bleached hair because then it can weaken it and you're double processing it and whatnot. And if you do have roots, you want to make sure that you leave a little bit between your hair that's growing out and your bleached hair because the bleach when it gets in your hair will expand and cover the rest of that area. Alrighty. So let me show you what I'm going to be using real quick. Um, since I'm bleaching my hair like every week, I decided to get a big tub of this. It was on sale for like $14.99 at Sally's. Um, and I had heard a lot of good things about it on YouTube and read reviews about it, and I do like it. It's called Quick Blue. It comes. This one comes in a big tub. It does come in the packets, single packets. But if you're going to bleach your hair a lot, this is definitely a better value. Um, it comes in two bags, two of these bags, and it comes with a scoop. I will be using one scoop of bleach out of here for my hair because it's not that long. You may need more, obviously, if your hair is longer. Um, and I will mix with that a 7-stage Ultra Blue um, Lightning Activator. This is supposed to make it 7 shades lighter. Now, to tell you the truth, when I last did my hair, I didn't even use this, and I was still okay. So, I don't know. Also, I will be using a 30 developer. I don't use a 40. I have dark hair, but my hair actually bleaches really easily. It, I don't have to bleach it two, three times. I can bleach it once, and it takes, so I guess I'm lucky. Uh, but yeah, my hair bleaches one time, and with a 30, I can use a 30. Um, this is the Ion Sensitive Scalp Developer, and I will mix that until it's a creamy consistency. Um, I will also be using, for my final wash when I wash my hair out after I do my toner, Shimmering Light Shampoo 
This also helps take the brassiness out and also keeps your blonde bright. So I use this maybe like once a week. And to do the toner, the toner is what gets rid of the brassy yellow color. Um, I'm going to be using the Wella Color Charm in a T18, which most people know as White Lady. They changed the name, so White Lady Toner is now number T18. So if you're looking for a White Lady, I was looking for it in Sally's, and they're like, oh, they changed it, and they had a whole chart of what, you know, used to be the names. And so White Lady is now T18. And really, I only need like half a bottle of this mixed with a 20 volume developer. Okay. Um, also, I just use an old plastic bowl and a um, brush. Now, last, or the time before last, somehow, I don't know how, and I have short hair, but I missed a patch like right here, so then I had to go back and correct it. So I will be starting on this side of my head. And then I will do the crown last because that takes really quickly. And, um, yeah. So, let's see. So I will mix this up and then I'll come right back. Okay, so I'm back and I put some Vaseline on my hairline. Because I notice that when I do my hair, sometimes it bleeds over into my forehead. And it's like black for a day or like wrinkly. So I'm going to try to put, I try to put Vaseline to protect that today. Um, so this is what it looks like after I've mixed it, like I put any consistency. And I don't really have a rhyme or reason. Well, I do have a rhyme or reason of how I'm doing it. Um, but I'm going to start, like I said, from the opposite side. So I'm going to do... I just kind of paint it on and get it in there. guys so as you can see I'm totally covered I have the bleach helmet on right now Ooh, hold on I got some bleach right there get that off um got the bleach helmet on I worked it in usually you're really not supposed to like you know comb it or whatever but like I said last time I had a patch so I had to make sure that everything is covered and um yeah so I'm gonna put on a plastic cap with um, this bleach, it says not to use heat. Usually I don't follow directions, um, <laughs> but I actually did with this bleach the last time and I did not need heat. So I will just put on a plastic bag, let my head do the work, and um, wash it out in about 40 minutes is good for me. And I will be back um, once I rinse it out and let you see what's going on and then we'll do the toner. So I'll be back. Alright guys, so it's time for me to wash this out of my hair. I just want to kind of show some people, if you've never done this, sometimes things happen and you're like, what the hell is that normal? So it does expand, so I just want to show you. So if you put it on your head and it goes, and it's all foamy looking and big, that's normal. That's what it's supposed to do. So don't be alarmed. So um, I'm going to try to hurry up and wash this out of my hair because I have some friends that just called and they want to go to the casino by my house. So, yeah. Um, a lot to do. So, I'm going to go rinse this stuff out of my hair and I'll come back with the toner. And, um, I'll probably go ahead and do one wash with my shimmer lights while I'm in the shower. So, I'll be back. Alright guys, so I just hopped out of the shower. Yes, I'm going to tell. Sorry, don't be offended. Um, but I just came out of the shower and I did not even use the shampoo. I just used my, um, Porosity Control, um, shampoo, um, and shampooed out the bleach after I rinsed it out really well, looked at it, and it was pretty damn white already. So I'm not even going to use the toner um, because it's already white enough. Um, I may hit it with um, the purple shampoo. I'm going to jump back in the shower and get ready to go. But I'm going to use um, maybe the purple shampoo once, and I'll make it a little bit whiter. I won't leave it in long. So I'm not even going to use the toner. 
because there's no yellow. It's pretty damn platinum. That's just with bleach and the lightener. So I know some people have trouble getting their hair to this color and have to use a couple of bleaching sessions, have to um, use the toner to get the yellow out. Um, but uh, for me, um, it took very well. Left it on for about 43, 44 minutes. And as you can see, I don't know if the light, but as you can see, it's pretty darn platinum whitish color. Um, I can't really see any yellow in there. The only thing I hate about having short hair is my edges are still growing in. And when you dye your edges white, they look even more ski, it seems. And I have two areas right here where wearing wigs, the combs, have made it really thin right there. So I've been massaging those, and those are actually coming in better. But I've been putting the Jamaican black castor oil on those every night um, to help with that too. So, this side is just getting on my nerves. Got to do like the comb over right there, you know. So anyways, so that is my hair. I might wait till the morning to get the edge up because I might go to the casino like I said right now. So, um, yeah, maybe I'll videotape that or I'll show you afterwards. So that is my hair. Again, um, I would have used the toner, but it's already white, so there's really no reason to use this toner or I'm going to come out looking super white, um, like white, white. So that's why I'm not going to use this toner. This toner is purple and it will make my hair really white um, if I put this on right now because, as you can see, I don't know if the light's making it look yellow. It might be, but it's not yellow. It's really pale platinum whitish. So I don't know if you can see with the light. But anywho, so that is how I do my hair. Um, lucky me, I didn't have to use the toner today. Like I said, I'll probably just hit it up with the white or the purple shampoo one time just because. And um, I'll tie it down. Lately, I've just been brushing it to the side a little bit. A little swoop that way. And then down that way. And I'm out. I love it. It's so quick. It's so easy. Um, and I don't have to worry about doing my hair. It's just by the time I get out of the shower, it's pretty much dry. I can just hit the door. So anyways, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Deuces.